some exciting movie news coming directly from Warner Bros. As they've announced some interesting uh, upcoming movie releases, projects that are currently in development. Starting off with Denis Velenoff, the director behind some of the most iconic sci-fi movies out there, such as The Arrival and most recently, The Dune Movies. Now, he did say and he did confirm that he is going to be working on Dune Messiah and uh, hopefully production will begin as soon as next year. So I'm excited for that. I have become a bit of a Dune converter, so to speak, at a time where the golden age of Star Wars has fallen thanks to Disney and their incompetent team. Um, Dune has become that sort of you know that little shed of light of hope of like you know the sci-fi genre ain't dead just yet um but apparently warner bros has also emphasized in this announcement that denis valinoff is apparently working on another secret project that we won't be hearing about for quite some time now i jumped into reddit for some uh a while back and i was looking at some of the theories that people have had and apparently one of them have to do with um that the, the secret project could potentially be um from a book series called rendezvous with rama now i don't know too much about this but i'm sure there's a few sci-fi connoisseurs out there who are a little bit more familiar with it than i am i've seen some of the imagery for it it looks absolutely surreal so if I mean, and, and at this point, I feel like Denise is perhaps one of the only few directors who can pull off adapting, um, you know, sci-fi sci-fi fiction out there in a in a, in the most amazingly cinematic way. So I'm excited for Dune Messiah. It's going to be a while before we hear more about it. And apparently, Warner Bros. has also announced the development for the next MonsterVerse movie now godzilla x kong the new empire which premiered back in march of this year uh did pretty well it earned a substantial half a, a billion dollars worldwide which numbers like that and posts after you know the the pandemic the covid pandemic is pretty decent at a time where theatrical uh theatrical releases are not hitting the expected numbers this is a safe haven it's a win for Warner Bros. And um, what will come next for the MonsterVerse? Well, more monsters, hopefully. I think uh, at this point, they've gone past the point of doing like an Avengers level type of uh, storyline. They might do a little bit more compact kind of uh, spinoffs now where Godzilla is on his own and he's fighting a particular kind of monster from, from the comics that people would know of. Uh, maybe another dispute with Kong, you know, Kong Godzilla drama now, who knows? But uh, the MonsterVerse movies are always been the kind of mindless, fun action film that you go to the movies, turn off your brain, have a good time. You know, it, it's just it's there to look and feel cool. And uh, it's a vibe for sure. But I will say that it does not compare to the Japanese uh, produced Godzilla minus one, which honestly did a better job of depicting Godzilla more uh, better than the MonsterVerse stuff, because the MonsterVerse is kind of going down the angle of, oh, Godzilla, he's a he's a bit of a hero. He's an anti hero, but he's there to protect Earth and all that mother nature, uh, whereas Godzilla minus one is like, no, he's an absolute menace. We got to team up and destroy this thing. And it's done all within a $15 million budget. So that's what makes me so impressed by Godzilla Minus One. Nevertheless, more MonsterVerse movies to come, more Dune, and Denis Velenoff's secret sci-fi project. Whatever it may be, if you have speculations, do let me know. would love to hear your thoughts and opinion on the matter. Uh, but I think the main focus right now for Rona Bros is House of the Dragon Season 2, which is currently still premiering. I have not watched those episodes yet. I'm kind of waiting for it to bulk up a bit, and then I'll do a proper binge watch. Um, and I am avoiding spoilers. Don't worry. I have 
all of my search filters uh, adjusted accordingly. So when that show wraps up, I'll hopefully do a bit of a review for it, inshallah. And with that, guys, it's time to wrap it up here on the Evening Buzz. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time from 8 till 9 p.m., keeping you guys busy and entertained all throughout the week and shift, only here on Pulse 95. This is Mikhail Atia signing out. Have a good one. If you liked this episode of The Evening Buzz, drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories. Pulse.